the mission of robotic destroying records of the U.S. Air Force. Space plane X-37B is over. After circling Earth for an unprecedented 718 days, X-37B landed on Sunday, May 7 at the landing facility of the shuttle at NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida, the first landing at the SLF since the final mission of the space shuttle returned to Earth in July 2011. Today is a very exciting day for the 45th Space Wing as we continue to break down barriers, Air Force Brigadier General Wayne Motep, Commander SW-45 A, said in a statement. Our team has been preparing for this event for several years, and I am very proud to see our hard work and dedication culminate in today's safe and successful landing of the X-37B. The mysterious X-37B space plane, six amazing facts. The mission that just ended, known as OTV-4 Orbital Test Vehicle 4, was the fourth for the X-37B program. The four launched from Florida's Cape Canaveral Power Station, and the first of three landed at Vandenberg Air Force Base in California. But Air Force officials have said they want to consolidate launch and touch-up operations 37C of the Florida Space Coast, so landing today could be the first of many in the SLF. The hard work of the X-37 BOTV team and the 45th Space Wing successfully demonstrated the flexibility and determination needed to track the nation's progress in space, Randy Walden, the director of the Office of Air Force Capabilities FAST, in the same statement. Earth's capacity, cooling, and startup from the same place further enhances the OTV's ability to integrate and rate new space technologies quickly.